Hello, oh, this is an update from the Cedar Workshop. Thought I'd show our latest project. Um, this is what I was working on last weekend. It's a, that's for our cabin. Um, this is our, this is a neighbor had given us a um, older RV style propane fridge. And we had it out on our back deck for the summertime, which worked fine, it was covered. But uh, with winter coming and snow and so on, we decided to put it in a cabinet and I suggested why don't we just buy a pre-made cabinet from that uh, well it's actually a IKEA cabinet that we found in the as is section and it was a proper width and the fit and finish is just as usual is fantastic so we thought we'd use it so see here I just turned it on actually so it's not totally cold but inside uh, it's just usual RV fridge style. Um, down at the bottom here is the the lighting. This little blue light here shows that the propane is on. Um, and then you have this is you have to pull this out for 10 seconds for lighting. This knob here you can switch between 12 volt uh, electric or gas. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's the thermostat. This is 12 volt electric gas. I know the lighting's not very good in here. Then over on the far right is the thermostat. Oh no, it's the electric thermostat. Anyway, it's just a basic little fridge, but for uh, for people like us that come up on weekends, it'll do just fine. Uh, I do have more food. Just said last night when I got in, what I did is I just took a uh, glass and filled it full of snow. It's water now, and just put it inside to keep it cool. And then in the morning time, I uh, started it up. Uh, one of the things I did was, if you can see up top here, it's not a very good picture, but uh, there's the flue that comes out, the silver um, bendable, kind of like a laundry dryer style pipe. And I made a four inch hole for it. And then I wrapped uh, some flashing around the hole and then inserted the pipe into it just in case it gets hot. I didn't want uh, it touching wood. And then inside it, at just now, or actually about 40 minutes ago, I put some um, gasket caulking for wood stoves and so on. So that's uh, it's the dark part you can't really see. And then around it, last weekend, I did all the spray foam and so on. So that will be covered eventually with um, insulation and vapor barrier, so you won't see that ugly part. So one advantage of having a, a cabinet that's pre-made is you get these nice drawers that open up. You see here we use this one to put our um, potatoes and uh, you know oranges and some other things. So you get a really good organization. And tell you the truth, IKEA does a much better job making furniture than I do. I really don't have the time nowadays to make furniture. Uh, that part is a horror point for me, but uh, just with children and a family and a job, I just don't really get the time. But also show one thing, uh, you can see underneath that's there's a drain hole in the bottom of the RV fridge. And uh, so when you, at the end of the day, on the end of the weekend, you turn it off, you want the somewhere to drain. So what I did is I matched, uh, like underneath the shelf here, I, I drilled a hole and lined it up perfectly with the drain hole in the bottom of the fridge and I just installed this pipe. Um, what I do for now is I just put a glass, um, a bowl underneath. It doesn't look very sexy, but uh, it's just to collect the, the drainage. Later on in the summertime, I'll put a uh, proper like hose on it and drain the hose into the ground. I just didn't want cool air coming up the drain hole into the stove. It's just, uh, in the winter time, you don't want anything to freeze. Anyway, I have a door still to put on that came with the cabinet, which I think would give it a much more polished look. I mean, the uh, pseudo um, paneled look is nice, but I think for the rest of the cabinet, the IKEA look is just fine. All right. Oh, well, I'll, I'll take a quick video outside to show you. Outside. When you have propane appliances, you always have to have good venting. So you have your vent at the bottom here and then up top 
That's another vent. You can just see the holes I made in the walls. There's the exhaust for the flue. And then here is the line that comes out and goes down to the propane tank. Eventually we'll get the propane hooked up to our, uh, our big propane tank, but this will work for now. So, it's great to have cold drinks again. That's all for now.